through these transitions, we will be making major decisions that will affect the future of our children. First of all, within these 18 months, the fate of the country is going to be decided. Within these 18 months, we will have one opportunity of whether power can be returned to the people for the people to choose their own government in free and fair elections and realize the principle of peaceful transfer of power. That is a challenge. Are these elections going to be free and fair or not? It's a real major challenge. At the end of 18 months in 2011, the people of Southern Sudan will have the right of self-determination to decide or choose between unity or separation. Even before that, probably towards the end of 2010, if the elections take place, the people of the New Mountain and the people of Southern Blue Nile are also going to determine whether these agreements that have been signed reflect their aspirations or not. These are really serious and major issues that are confronting us. It requires that all Sudanese are aware about this and must be involved in one way or another, including yourself here in diaspora. You have to be engaged In, in making, I'm sorry, I'm getting calls from home. This is, uh, it is important that each and every one of us, including yourself here in diaspora, be involved in these issues because they are going to affect your own life, the life of your children, and the life of all our people at home. Now, if we ask ourselves what is the way forward, we in the SPLM believe that we have three important national agendas that we would like to mobilize ourselves, all of us Sudanese around, to achieve. The first national agenda is to work to achieve peace, just peace, all over our country through the full implementation of the agreements that have been signed, especially the CPA. And this just peace agenda will not be complete until we find an end to the conflict in that world. Therefore, we have to work to bring about a just peace in Darfur so that peace is comprehensive, so that we can achieve peace all over our country. To realize this objective and goal, 
we must focus our struggle to fully implement the CPA and the Eastern Sudan Peace Agreement as well as also the Cairo Peace Agreement. The full implementation of these agreements, especially the CPA, is critical to avoid a return to war. Because you know there is a Sudanese cycle that we must break. The cycle of war, civil war, ending with a peace agreement that is implemented in a bad manner, with uh, bad faith and dishonor, only to return to another war. This has been uh, the case with the Addis Ababa Agreement, a war that was led by General Lago is here, and a Addis Ababa Agreement that was dishonored in the end, resulting to the formation of the SPLM, SPLA, and the renewal of the country, <coughs> which took us to 20 years. Now, the challenge that we have, especially now that we are left with 18 months, is by the end of the 18 months in 2011, are we returning back to war or are we going to take our country out of this cycle, not to repeat itself? It's a big challenge. So we have to do everything. We have to mobilize our people inside the country, outside the country, to ensure that the peace agreement is implemented. Some of our challenges, you know, are that almost all peace agreements in the Sudan are dissolved, are abrogated. Almost all peace agreements in our history. Starting with the CPA, I mean with the Addis Ababa Agreement itself. If you look at the type of agreements that have been signed between the government of Sudan and the resistance movements in southern Sudan, the Addis Ababa agreement was dishonored and led to a return to war. You have the Khartoum Peace Agreement was also dishonored that led Riyad Machar to return to war, to return to the SPLA. The Peshawar Peace Agreement is not implemented, it's dishonored. Even the agreement between Khartoum and the group from the Nuba Mountains of uh, Muhammad Harun and the others who signed an agreement with the NIF, it was also dishonored. They are lost. Some have returned to the SPLM, others are uh, loitering in Khartoum. If you look even to other agreements that were signed by the government of the National Congress and the other northern Sudanese political parties, 